Fall is one of my favorite times of the year. I love watching the leaves turn brown and the different shades of yellow on all the trees. It's also one of the busiest times in real estate. We've helped dozens of friends and family buy and sell real estate in the last few weeks. And what we've noticed is very different markets throughout the GTA particularly because of the interest rates going at an all-time high, prices are starting to trickle down. Many sellers are nervous about listing their homes and buyers are nervous about qualifying and buying their next property. This video is strictly about market updates. It's an unbiased view of where the current real estate market is and how you should take advantage. How is the market lately? It's a common question I get asked a few times a week at least. Well, let's see. Aside from sales dropping 70%, prices dropping 10%, and listings taking twice as long to sell in this market, the market is pretty okay, I think. Instead of sharing data and numbers with you and boring you with all that content, I wanna share real life five questions that most commonly get asked to me in this market. The first question, how is the market in October? in real estate at the moment. In a snapshot, here's what's currently happening. We've had 70% less listings this month than last year of October. We have 10% less in average prices than the beginning of this year. And it takes 20 days to sell a home in this market. It used to take 10 days last October. Here's what's interesting though. The average sale price compared to October of last year has increased by 10%, but the average list to sale ratio has dropped 10%, which means sellers are pricing their homes thinking they can get a higher amount, but they're ending up with 10% less than what they list their homes at. There is a huge opportunity for buyers in this market. This means there's less competition and more options to choose from. Most buyers are getting discouraged looking at list prices of homes and don't even bother putting an offer on a house anymore. This is where an educated buyer like us can go in knowing the market stats and put in an offer well below 10% of the listing price to get a deal and know that the sellers have to accept it. The next question, is the fall winter season slow in real estate? Historically, the fall and winter months are usually when the prices and inventory starts to slow down. It's usually because people don't wanna move when it's cold outside. Let's take a look at this five year history of what the inventory looked like in October of each year. As we can see, we started out in 2019 with a high number of listings and now trickling down to 2022, we're 30% less in the amount of listings we have just in October. Moving on, when we look at the uh, months of inventory, since May, we can also see that in the spring months, it's evident that there's the most activity going on in real estate. And then as we move into October, we've had a lot less amount of listings come up. One thing to note, interestingly enough, is that the months or the inventory in 2021 of October was still much higher than it is now. So we're starting to see that there's a lot more fear in the market and less sellers are putting their homes out on sale. That leads me to my next question. Are properties still selling in this market? Properties are still selling, just not at the price that sellers want. As you can see in this chart here, we started out with an average price of 1.03 million in 2019 and now progressed into 2020 Two, we can see that the average price has jumped up to 1.47, which is 17% more than last year's price. Doesn't that sound nuts to you? Here is the government raising the interest rates four times this year, and yet again, sellers want 17% more for their home. This would have worked in a normal market. Well, with so many interest rate hikes over the last few months, we've noticed prices drop significantly, and many sellers are just not willing to accept that. Buyers are catching on to the new real estate prices, and negotiations are very strong. We're noticing that only the sellers that have to sell are letting their homes go which is why we've noticed uh, over 67% amount of listings dropped since last month in October. If we look at this graph, we can see that the amount of listings in general since May have dropped sig significantly. If we compare these listings to last year's 
inventory, we can see that there was a huge difference. That brings me to my next question. Have prices dropped in residential real estate? On average, the prices have dropped 9% since last year, October 2021. However, something interesting has happened this month. If we look at this illustration, we can see that since January, we started off with 974,000 as our average price. Then in 2021, it was a million 190,000. Then in January of 2022, we are at a million 300,000. And now currently our average price in October is 1,390,000, which is still 14% higher than the beginning of this year, despite all these interest rate hikes. Here's a million dollar question though. If you bought a property in 2021 and now have to relocate or sell your property, can you expect a profit if you sold today? In simple terms, the answer is yes, but there are many factors that play a role like your location, condition, and the type of property you own. How long does it take to sell a property in today's market? We started with an average days on market of 10 days last year. Fast forward now, it on average takes 20 days to sell a property. That is 100% more than last year which is a strong sign of a slow market that is in favor of buyers more than sellers. Does this mean you will lose money if you sell your property today? Not at all. Remember going back to our previous questions, the average sale price is still higher today than last year. If you buy and sell in the same market, you'll likely not be affected by this slow market at all. Is it a good time to enter the market? Our inflation rate has hit an all time high. We've had over three interest rate hikes in this year alone, and the overall buyer sentiment has fizzled out. Homes are now priced to sell, unlike before, where people would just list their homes and test the market to see what they can get. There is no right or wrong answer to this question. It's very situational based. I would follow up this question with another few questions like, is this your first home? If it is, it doesn't matter how the prices or interest rates are. It's best to get into home ownership. Are you an investor? Savvy investment strategies haven't changed. Look for properties that cash flow so all of your monthly payments are covered by rent. Would you like to upsize? If you're looking to buy a home that is more expensive than the one you own, you will likely, depending on when you purchase your house, save more money on the purchase than you will on the sale of your house. Are you looking to downsize? You likely lived in your home for many years and built up quite a bit of equity. Granted, you may not get the price that you'd want to get in February in the peak months, but you'll also have a lot more options to choose from because now you won't have 10 offers on every home you look at. What can we conclude from all of this? Whether the interest rates go up and prices fall down or vice versa, Ask yourself a few determining questions on whether it's a good time to enter the market now or wait a bit longer. Nine out of 10 times, people benefit from entering the market when the situation is right for them now, then to wait longer because we don't have control on where the market is heading down the road, but we have control on our situation today. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe so we can continue sharing our knowledge about the market with you. This was just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to buying your next home. If you'd like a step-by-step -step guide, on exactly how you should purchase your next home stress-free, click on the link below and I'll send you a free home buyer's guide. Until next time, we provide results that move you.